Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabriel Kozak. Uh, if you're new here, please do feel welcome. And if you're stopping by uh, for another um, view, do feel welcome as well. On today's video, I will crack on. I want to share with you uh, another uh, grocery shopping haul. I did one last year, uh, so this is a new one. And I just want to show you because uh, last year I didn't have my country uh, well organized and this year uh, in the last couple of months I've done my country so my organization and planning ahead for my grocery shopping and other things has become quite easy so uh, before I show you what I bought for this month I will first show you what has been left over for the last month so uh, I usually have to visually look uh, inside the bank pantry so that I can decide what I need to do uh, to buy before I actually go to buy so that way I am not using or uh, over buying things which I really do not need so uh, without further ado so let me walk you through my pantry and as well I will also be showing you my freezer capacity because uh, I usually try to buy my meats once a month so that way I can show you uh, how I usually uh, buy my mates and keep them and use them throughout the month so yeah let's crack on so this is my country as you can see i did the renovation i added this uh, glass clear door so when you're in the kitchen you can still be uh see the pantry and it just becomes an overflow little uh, storage where you can see everything uh, nice and clear and I like it that way because it's visually pleasing to me uh, other people might not agree but that's me so uh, I can walk you through the pantry this is the side uh, where we have all our food stack so I still have some cranberries I, I did buy uh, some more uh, I still have raisins and I still have uh, some raisin in some of the drawers in uh, kitchen. I still have my raisin, safe raisin flour uh, rice, but this rice will not take us a whole month, so I needed to also add the supply. You can see breakfast is literally zero, it's empty, so that is a supply that I needed. Snacks, because we buy different kind of snacks, so I also did buy some extra bits for the snacks. Um, onions, I did not buy more than that because with the veggies i usually tend to buy them uh once a supply once a week so with the with the meats and with the uh dry food like flour and grains those ones i tend to buy them uh once a month uh the cereals are still have quite a bit so i did not buy the supply so at the moment as you can see this is what i have i have a bit of tin stuff here there is uh, an empty space so I got a bit of supply for there because some of the things that uh, we've already used like the coconut milk and all that kind of stuff which we use for making uh, curry sauce uh, is something that we needed to supply uh, here is where we put the eggs so the organic eggs and the other eggs for baking those ones I need to keep a supply and this is the overstock over uh, back stock some of it uh, it's not used often so I didn't need to supply and some of these ones are the breast breakfast stuff which I didn't buy because we still have a supply we still have a lot of um, pasta linguine uh, I bought a few more packs of um, penny uh, so it's important to have a pantry which is organized so that way you are able to buy only that which you need rather than just over buying and you do not know where things are and you end up spending money which you should uh, especially these days food is becoming so expensive so for me it's important that I only buy what I need and I can be able to save money and do uh, other things so I will um, show you my uh, 
freezer capacity as well so this is my freezer this is my fridge so as you can see at the end of the week this is how the fridge looks like it's basically there and i will be showing you the supply that i bought for this week uh with the freezer so this is the capacity at the top i usually put my uh veggies the frozen veggies uh, in the middle, where is the biggest box, is where now we put our meat. So this is a big enough uh, box that can contain all the meat for the whole month. And here is where we put all our dry fruits for making smoothies <coughs> and uh, bakes and such things like that. So, <coughs> without uh, showing you after I've shown you that much, so let me show you my shopping. Uh, for the week uh, so guys as I said before this is a supply of all the groceries that I made uh, for today and this is a supply for some of it is a month's supply some of it is a week supply especially with the greens and other things as they go about uh, getting used so we just keep on restocking as we go so this is what I bought, as you can see, all these are the greens, so we are talking about the fruits, the fresh fruits and vegetables which are a supply for the week. This is where now the rubber uh, meets the road, uh, we are talking about the meat. So with the meat I only try to buy uh, once a month. So we are having here meatballs, uh, 24 uh, meatballs. These are enough for to supply us a month. We have uh, some lean diced uh, beef and we have two packs. So that's, those ones will also be enough for the month. We have chicken thighs, uh, fillets, uh, which are skinless. So those ones are, will supply us for a month. And we also have this uh, sugar uh, steaks which are going to be divided uh, into two and can be eaten twice. Uh, this is a chicken piri piri which we will be making for dinner uh, tomorrow. Uh, we have this chalk belly which we tend to make when we are making a nice uh, cabbage uh, dish. is a stew uh, and we also like my son especially he loves uh, having his wings so uh, this is one of our, our favorite uh, meat dishes in this house and uh, my son he has his supply of uh, sausages in fact so those will be enough for the month for him and uh, that's about it when it comes to the meats I will be also buying some ribs uh, tomorrow so with all that is more than enough supply for a month. I usually tend to eat meat and I also supplement my meats with eating uh, beans, lentils, so those are good things to alternate uh, your meats with also other healthy veggies, uh, plant-based uh, proteins. Uh, these uh, oranges, we usually buy them for juicing. Uh, I didn't buy any much of toiletries because this is just uh, add-ons because we already do have more than enough supply uh, that was left over from the month before for laundry and for hygiene. Uh, with the bread, we buy bread uh, every week so that is more than enough to last us a week. Uh, these are my cut uh, treats. Uh, when everyone also likes treats. Uh, these are breakfast uh, bars and protein bars. Uh, this, my daughter uses them, I use them uh, for work and all that kind of stuff. Uh, these are good snacks, having uh, cranberries, because especially cranberries are good uh, for to help you with, with preventing uh, urinary tracker um, infections so it is good to snack on cranberries and I tend to put them mine in in, in, in breakfast and I usually eat them with uh, yogurt 
Uh, the rest of the stuff, these are snacks as well. Uh, or cheese, so uh, extra mature cheddar cheese. And this one is mature as well, British uh, mature cheese. All this we use for making pizza and also making uh, lasagna when we do make lasagna. So like this, these are tin stuff, like bake, uh, beans um, in water, coconut milk. Uh, we have the squashes. And as I said, I have the supply of rice, so I buy about three kilos. And as I said, uh, a good alternative to uh, meat is also having things like lentils and, and beans and things like that, which they are really, really good uh, alternatives rather than eating meat all the time. Uh, I bought those pastas. I also did buy uh, one uh, pack of uh, plain flour. Uh, these are uh, the meat. These pepperonis, they are usually, uh, we buy them for making uh, pizza and this is stuff for breakfast. Uh, so this one could last about two weeks. Uh, I don't usually have such kind of ham and all that kind of stuff. This, this is my husband, my son and my daughter. Uh, there is cheese as well. So basically here is where the supply of uh, breakfast is. So with my son, he likes drinking uh, hot uh, chocolate. Uh, so that is good for him. Uh, I bought this one is spreadable butter, which is really good, but it's quite expensive. Uh, also bought some Philadelphia cheese. Uh, this one I usually buy uh, when I want to make cheesecake, of which I'll be making uh, tomorrow, which is on a Sunday. Uh, these are my uh, daughter's breakfast uh, beets. My son loves this uh, French fruit. Uh, the very uh, slim or thin uh, pancakes. Uh, and as you can see, I have to kinds of eggs so we have the normal eggs and we have the organic egg so I will put all this in the fridge freezer and in the pantry and then I will show you after I have already unpacked them and I've put them away and you can see how my pantry is restored and how my um, fridge and my uh, freezer they all look stocked and ready to serve us another uh, week so uh, let's see how it's all turned out So my fridge is now stocked so I can show you how it looks like everything is put away is in its place so that is the supply of this week for the greens and for the, all the fresh things for the breakfast stuff and uh, I will be buying tomorrow uh, I usually buy berries so blueberries, blackberries, uh, those ones I usually uh, make for breakfast uh, for work and I will also be buying uh, soya milk because I usually have my milk with soya milk. The rest of the family just have normal milk. So that's how the fridge is fully stocked to start a new week. Uh, with the uh, meat 
section this is all the meat that I bought and as, as I said the box in the middle is big enough to be able to stock up uh, meat for the whole month because as I said uh, we also alternate meat with other plant-based proteins as well which is a good way of uh, eating healthy and thinking also about the environment uh, I have stocked up with the brewery uh, stuff this is for the kids uh, they have their hot chocolate uh, and also for the squash and this is my coffee sachets for work and also uh, green tea and just uh, berry uh, fruit tea and uh, down there is just the paper for baking and for wrapping uh, and the rest so with that uh, let me show you my pantry so the pantry is stocked up for with the grains for the month and the sugar the salt so we do not need any more rice because we still have this one which is in the jars and that one which is not yet opened we have all the pastas uh, we have the beans lentils and we have also sugar for baking we have all the tin stuff oh so that is already full up we have the sauces for making stew and also uh, like this sauce either for making lasagna and also for making uh, pizza i have my cranberry uh, the box is full my raisins as well uh, and there is still uh, the back stock and extra things for baking these ones i think uh, we will be baking soon uh, some stuff and as i said we have the organic uh, eggs plus the normal eggs for baking and the bread for the week yeah so as i said guys uh, this is my way of knowing how i am doing and spending my money so that way uh, having a country and being able to organize my life means that i am able to actually only buy that which i need rather than over buying and having too much supply either for one thing and also missing out on other things i will also show you my supply for the bathroom so as you can see this is the toilet uh, it's a very small room but I have managed to make use of it because over the toilet seat we have this uh, nice uh, cupboard where my husband uh, made it in two parts so we have a lot of things and storage so here is where I, put, I store all my um, laundry stuff and toiletries so I usually have more than enough supply to last me more than a month so that is what i still have in stock so i do not need to be buying anything for the next month so yeah this is how i do my shopping and uh, the fact that everything is nicely organized it helps me know what i need to buy and that way i am not wasting uh, my my uh, money or wasting unnecessary resources and uh, it's also a good way to help you uh, save money uh, so guys if you did enjoy this video please do remember to give me a like a thumbs up uh, even consider subscribing so you'll be a part of this uh, YouTube journey and journey with me as we discover and do things together and as I share uh, new ways of doing things and also um, it's good also to learn something new maybe i have something that i can share with you and you can learn through my way of running my household so really i am very appreciative for every time you come and stop by and if you're new here i am grateful for you stopping by to watch this video and do remember you can always subscribe and come back and uh share this journey with me so without further ado i will say thank you very much for stopping by and I will uh, hope to see you in the next one. So bye.